Have you ever found yourself trapped in a loop of negative thoughts, unable to break free? If so, you're not alone. Each one of us at some point has experienced the whirlwind of rumination where our mind becomes a battleground, constantly replaying disheartening thoughts. This universal human experience, known as rumination, can be a heavy burden to bear. It can cloud our judgment, hinder our productivity, and most importantly, it can take a toll on our mental health. It's like a torrential downpour of negativity that drenches our overall well-being. But let me remind you, it's not a life sentence. It's a battle that can be won. It's an uphill climb, yes, but it's not an insurmountable one. So how do we break free from this cycle? How do we reclaim our minds from this internal turmoil? Today, we delve into the journey of overcoming negative thoughts and rumination, a journey that begins within. To conquer an enemy first, we must understand them. So let's unpack this adversary called rumination. Rumination is the act of continuously thinking about the same thoughts, which are often sad or dark. It's akin to a record stuck on replay, repeating the same song over and over again. Imagine a cow chewing its cud, regurgitating it, and then chewing it again endlessly. That's the essence of rumination. But instead of grass, it's our thoughts that we are endlessly chewing over. Rumination is a thief. It steals away our present moments, replacing the here and now with past regrets or future worries. It's like living in a house with windows that only show yesterday's weather or tomorrow's forecast, never allowing us to see the sunshine or feel the breeze of the present moment. This relentless replay of thoughts can be exhausting, draining our mental energy and leaving us feeling helpless. It's like carrying a heavy backpack up a steep hill the more we ruminate, the heavier the backpack gets, making our journey uphill even more difficult. And how does rumination affect our daily lives, you might wonder? Well, it's like a fog that obscures our path. It can affect our concentration, our productivity, and even our relationships. It can lead us down paths we'd rather not tread towards feelings of depression and anxiety. It's like a weed that, if left unchecked, can overrun the garden of our mind. But remember, rumination is not a life sentence. It's a habit, a pattern of thinking. And like all habits, it can be changed. We have the power to switch off that replaying record, to stop chewing over the same thoughts, to clear the fog, and to lighten that heavy backpack. The first step in this battle is acknowledgement. Recognizing that we are ruminating is halfway to victory. The next half is action, but we'll get to that in a bit. Knowing the enemy, now let's get ready to fight back. The first step in our battle against rumination is awareness. Picture a ship lost at sea, tossed by tumultuous waves and dark shadows lurking beneath. Without a compass, without a map, it wanders aimlessly. Our minds, when left unchecked, can be much like this ship lost in a sea of negative thoughts, spiraling deeper into the abyss of rumination. But just as a ship finds its course with the aid of a compass, we too can navigate the stormy seas of our minds with the compass of awareness. Awareness, dear listeners, is our beacon in the dark, our guide through the storm. It's the ability to recognize when we are ruminating, to identify those negative thought patterns that keep us anchored in a sea of distress. But how do we cultivate this awareness? How do we train ourselves to recognize when our thoughts start to spiral? The answer lies in introspection in consciously observing our thoughts without judgment. Like a silent observer, we need to watch our thoughts come and go without trying to alter them or push them away. This practice, often referred to as mindfulness, allows us to create a mental space between ourselves and our thoughts. Imagine standing on the shore watching the waves crash against the rocks. The waves are your thoughts and you are the observer. You see them come, you see them go, but you remain steadfast, unaffected, this is mindfulness, this is awareness. Another approach is to keep a thought journal. Dedicate a few minutes each day to write down your thoughts, especially the ones that seem to loop in your mind. This practice not only helps us recognize recurring thought patterns, but also allows us to see our thoughts as separate from ourselves. They are not who we are. They are merely visitors passing through. Remember, awareness is not about stopping the thoughts or changing them. It's about recognizing them for what they are. 
Only then can we begin to steer our ship out of the storm towards the calm and serene waters of positivity and peace. Awareness is the dawn of change. With it, we can begin to alter the course of our thoughts. Once we're aware of our ruminations, it's time to disrupt the cycle. The journey to breaking free from the chains of negative thoughts is paved with conscious effort and resilience. But don't fret, you aren't alone in this battle. Let's delve into some strategies that could help us distract ourselves when we find our minds spiraling into the abyss of rumination. Physical activity, a potent weapon in our arsenal, can be employed to divert our attention. When our minds start spinning tales of worry, let's lace up our shoes and step outside. A brisk walk, a jog, or perhaps even a dance-off in the living room. The aim is to engage our bodies, to let the rhythm of movement become the metronome that guides our thoughts away from the path of rumination. Engaging in a hobby is another excellent diversion. Whether it's painting a canvas with vibrant hues, strumming the strings of a guitar or knitting a scarf for the winter, hobbies have a way of immersing us in the moment. They act as anchors, keeping us firmly planted in the present, preventing our thoughts from drifting into the fog of negativity. Practicing mindfulness, a simple yet profound concept, is a third strategy we can adopt. It's about focusing on the here and now, about savouring the taste of the coffee we sip in the morning, feeling the warmth of the sun on our skin, or listening to the rustle of leaves on a windy day. Mindfulness is a gentle reminder that life is happening right now, not in the past we ruminate over, nor in the future we worry about. These strategies aren't magical cures. They demand effort commitment and patience. But remember, every time we succeed in pulling our minds away from a negative thought cycle, we're winning a battle. We are forging a path towards a healthier, happier mind. Remember, the goal is to interrupt the pattern, to inject positivity where negativity once dwelled. Let's keep marching forward one step at a time. Disruption is the beginning, but true change comes from reframing. As we continue on this journey, we now find ourselves standing at the gateway to a powerful tool for reshaping our thoughts, cognitive restructuring. But what does this mean? In simple terms, it's the process of challenging and changing our negative or dysfunctional thought patterns that lead to feelings of anxiety, depression, or other emotional distress. Imagine your mind as an artist's canvas. Each stroke, each color used shapes the final picture. In the same way, our thoughts shape our reality. So if we're constantly painting with darker shades of worry, self-doubt or fear, our world can seem a rather grim place. But cognitive restructuring gives us the power to choose our colors, to change the tone of our thoughts. Let's say you've had a bad day at work and you find yourself thinking, I'm useless, I can't do anything right. This is a negative thought pattern that can spiral into rumination. But with cognitive restructuring, we can challenge this thought. We can ask ourselves, is this absolutely true? Did I really do everything wrong today or did I just make a few mistakes? Most likely, the answer will be the latter. From there, we can reframe that thought into something more positive or neutral. Instead of, I'm useless, we can say, I made some mistakes today, but that's how I learn and improve. This reframing doesn't deny the reality of the situation. It simply allows us to view it from a healthier, more balanced perspective. Think of cognitive restructuring as your mental paintbrush. With it, you can change the colors of your thoughts, blend in more positivity, and gradually create a more uplifting picture of your life. It's a skill that requires practice, patience, and self-compassion, but the results can be life-changing. Remember, reframing isn't about ignoring reality. It's about seeing the same picture with a different, healthier perspective. The battle against rumination isn't won in a day. A potent truth, one that underlines the importance of continual practice and patience. It's akin to learning a new language or mastering a musical instrument. The first few steps might seem daunting, perhaps even impossible, but with time and perseverance, we start seeing progress. In this journey of self-improvement, it's crucial to remember that setbacks are not failures, but rather they are stepping stones towards growth. It's natural and human to fall back into old patterns, to let those intrusive thoughts creep in. But remember, it's not about the fall. It's about the rise. 
Every time you catch yourself ruminating, take a moment, acknowledge it, and gently steer your mind away. These little victories, these moments of self-awareness and control, they add up, paving the way for a healthier mental landscape. Amidst this process, be gentle with yourself. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will your resilience against negative thoughts. It's okay to have off days. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. On such days, remind yourself of how far you've come, of the battles you've won against your own mind. These reminders will serve as your beacon of hope, guiding you through the tumultuous sea of rumination. And remember, you don't have to go through this alone. If the burden seems too heavy, reach out. Seek professional help. Therapists and counselors are equipped with tools and techniques that can aid you in this journey. They can provide you with a safe space to unpack your thoughts, to understand your patterns, and to equip you with strategies to combat them. So keep practicing, keep being patient with yourself. The road to self-improvement is long and winding, but every step you take is a step towards victory. Every time you choose to disrupt a negative thought, every time you choose to reframe your mindset, you're winning. Remember, progress, not perfection, is the goal. Each day, each thought is another step towards victory. In the end, the power to overcome rumination lies within us. This journey we've embarked on together, it's all about understanding the nature of rumination, recognizing its presence in our lives. It's about building awareness, becoming conscious of our thoughts and patterns, and then taking steps to disrupt them. We've learned how to engage in the art of distraction, how to disrupt these intrusive thought patterns that often hold us hostage. We've discovered the power of reframing our thoughts, of viewing them from a different perspective and thereby changing our response to them. We've also acknowledged the importance of patience and practice. Change doesn't happen overnight, it's a gradual process. But with perseverance, we can make significant strides forward. With these tools in hand, you are well equipped to battle rumination, to conquer the negativity and to reclaim the power of your mind. Remember, you are stronger than your thoughts.